my name's Sharif, AKA Dulex. Today, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. I'm building a truck camper for my personal pickup truck. Just for today's video, I'm just gonna be doing the, like the platform with the slide out drawers and the kitchen. So I just pulled up at Lowe's and I'm gonna go pick up the lumber that I need for this. Okay, just kidding. I had to go to Home Depot because that Lowe's didn't have the plywood that I need. They didn't have birch. So I just bought what I think will be all of the wood that I'm gonna need for this project. All in right now, it's uh, $191. Uh, keep in mind, if you try to do the same thing, it'll be a little bit more expensive because I do get a uh, discount because I'm a veteran. So I'm gonna head back to the workshop now and start cutting this wood up and start putting it together. So it's getting pretty late, but I'm gonna show you guys where I'm at with the carcass here. And there's two sides to this box and I use slats on the bottom because I wanted to keep this as lightweight as possible. And what I'm using for the slides is actually this PVC siding. It's very slippery. It's like some sort of like decking material or siding, I don't know. But on the bottom of this, there's actually a track. So if you have two pieces of this, it slides really smooth. If I were to use a drawer slide for this, number one, it would be way too weak. There's no way I'd be able to get a five foot drawer slide that would actually be able to pull out um, and be supported enough. So I'm just gonna let the slide just sit on the bottom of the drawer here. So I did the base out of three quarter inch plywood, but the entire drawer, both of the drawers are gonna be made out of half inch so I can save on weight.
for this part, I'm gonna be using this uh, waterproof container as a water jug for the faucet that's gonna be coming out of the front. Got a submersible water pump, and I'm gonna do this with some grommets. And this allows you to have the hoses coming out of the water without it leaking. Do one on this side. So I'm gonna take the wire from the pump and feed that through the grommet. And since this hole is a half inch and this grommet is a half inch, you can actually screw it into the hole. And then once you get that wire through, you take the other end of the grommet and feed that over the top of the wire. And then you crank that down. The way this works is as you tighten this, it closes in on the wire so that it won't let any water in or out on either side of this. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the quick way to make a water system. All right, so I have everything temporarily and loosely set up. I have to say that because if I don't, then I'm gonna get a bunch of comments about how I didn't do anything right. The water tank there, water pump is in there. We've got the electrical wire attached to a battery. And these are going to a switch that's obviously gonna be mounted later. And this is the faucet that is yet again, loosely set up. I'm gonna hit the switch here and that should turn on the water pump. Then it comes out. So that's pretty cool, pretty simple way to do it. And then I'm gonna have this switch here to turn off the pump. System works pretty well. that I chose for this project are not gonna work out. You're supposed to route in the handles because they they were like recessed inside the wood. But I guess I did it wrong and then on top of that, when I went to go screw it into the door, it split the wood. Oh, that's good. So I'm gonna run to Home Depot and see if they have some sort of other heavy duty handles that are, will work. When you do this type of stuff, there's always something that has to go wrong. Like you can't expect everything to go well. And this was just like a really simple thing that really shouldn't have logically gone wrong. Most of the time, uh, people think that I'm just doing everything perfectly and there's no mistakes at all. And that is just, very, very far from the truth. 
these definitely don't look as nice in my opinion. But they're gonna be way easier to install than the ones I have to route in. I'm really trying to finish this today, so I'll go with these. Black hardware just looks better to me. So while that's drying, I'm gonna take everything out of the back of the truck and set it up for the final install. This is how this came out after all that work that I just did. I actually ended up doing this in like two, three days, which is pretty decent. So on the left side, when you pull this out, this is the kitchen side. And over here, we've got the uh, the faucet and the sink over here. If you pull this out and push it down, that's like the wash basin. And then this is the sink here. It's just like a regular basic camping stove that you can get. And these run on those small little propane uh, canisters. And I have a hose adapter in case I want to hook it up to a bigger one and I store the rest of the propane right there. And then back here, this is just an uh, open compartment for now. I'm going to end up putting like the kitchen utensils and stuff in there. And then back here, this is a locking drawer. You can't pull this out without the handle being depressed and it comes out. So obviously this is completely empty because I just finished building it. Then back there, you got the water tank and the battery for the water pump back there. And then on this side, this side is just the empty coffin. So I just kind of threw some random stuff in there that I just bought from the store. I left this completely open because I'm going to be uh, later coming in and then just putting in dividers for what I need to put in there because I'm not sure exactly what I need to put in yet. Inside of the truck bed, this is the bed platform slash floor. So if I actually get up on there, you can see this thing is super strong. It's not going anywhere. It's, it's strong enough to sleep on, walk on. And that's actually going to be the floor for when I build the rooftop tent. That's going to be the floor portion of it. Damn, there was something I was going to say, but I forgot what it was. Oh, this is what I was going to say. So I might release the plans for this in the comments and tell me if you want me to release the plans for this. I usually don't release plans for stuff because it's usually very specific. But this is just literally four feet wide, which is like a regular width of most truck beds but you would have to figure out uh, your dimensions for your truck i weighed each one of the drawers and the frame individually and the whole thing weighs about 250 pounds if i did my math correctly so it's not really heavy but it's not really light either that pvc decking material for the slides is working out really well and i definitely recommend using that because those things are about 20 dollars for a 12 foot piece of that so i ended up just using two of them so i spent 40 bucks for these drawers and there's no way that I would have been able to get drawer slides that were strong enough to hold these that would be able to extend that far without spending like in the hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So that's pretty much all I got for today. Thanks for watching this video all the way to the end and I'll see you guys in the next video. Probably gonna be a trailer video but I'm gonna be coming back to this truck camper to build the sides and a rooftop tent. So subscribe for that if you haven't already. See you next time. Never at ease, I don't know a limit Chasing a dream, I don't know what sleep is I got a queen, she lit me the evening She ripe like a peach and she snapped me the snippet You well overdue for that link up in person Text me to fall through its murder, she wrote it Still up with courage, you're doing a service Pull up to the crib, I'm equipped with the brush strokes Cut throat from the low low, where no love goes Women buddy buddy like a spin